Welcome beauty queens. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. First of all, let me just let y'all know, I've been recording in my living room and kitchen lately because my beauty room is a mess. So as soon as I have some time to clean that up, I will be back in my room. And also sometimes I get some good lighting up in my, my kitchen, like, okay. Well, my kitchen slash living room because it's an open floor, open floor plan. Anyways, secondly, just before you guys ask, the lipstick that I'm wearing is a combination. And one thing about me is I usually combine my lipsticks just because sometimes I'll put one on and it's cute. And I don't know. So this one is Fire Matte and it is by Bare Minerals. And then I also have Coco by Kylie Cosmetics and it is the color Dull. Now, yeah, it's really bright, so I like to mix it with the other one just to tone it down just a tad bit. Um, this was a gift. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so let's get straight into it. I've procrastinated enough. Guess what, guys? I am finally, finally trying the Basque and Bloom Essentials line. I am so excited to try this line. I've seen it on Instagram. You guys know me by now, hopefully. I am a product junkie and I love to support small businesses. Or not small, like demeaning or anything, but like up and coming businesses. Like there's enough money in this world for everybody. And I love trying new products. And of course, letting you guys know what I think will works on my hair. And there might be something that you're curious about. So yeah, so Baskin Bloom. There's several products that I purchased. I can't remember the name of the bundle, but I'll be sure to post it below. So this particular item is the shampoo bar. I have never, ever, ever, ever <laughs> used a shampoo bar before, so I am excited and nervous. So I haven't opened any of this, so I'll talk about the packaging while I'm unboxing and let you guys know. So again, this is the shampoo bar. Ooh, the smell hit me right away, and this is Smells bomb. Mmm. So basically, from what I've seen so far on Instagram and YouTube, is you kind of use it. I don't know if you put it in your scalp and do that, or if you put it like this and then you put it in your scalp. So I'll definitely have to do some research on it. And maybe in the future, I can actually record myself trying to wash my hair on camera. So one thing about this also is it's made with, I know I'm going to mess this up, R-H-A-S-S-O-U-O-O-U-O-L, R-H-A-S-S-O-U-L, and bentonite clay. I know how to say bentonite clay. So this is meant to clarify and detox your scalp. I have personally used bentonite clay before for my scalp and my face, and I absolutely love bentonite clay, so I'm excited to try this. Oh, duh, you can read directions. Wet hair, rub on scalp to build a lather, wash and rinse as normal. So you do rub it on your scalp. Can be cut into smaller sections and used as a facial bar also. Okay, two in one. Next on the list, I also, I'm gonna try to go they're stimulating her herbal oil. So one of the things that I really appreciate that they did is they put tape on it. So that way, if for some reason it came unloose, you wouldn't spill all of the product in your box because I'm sure you guys have experienced that before. It is very annoying. Oh, this smells good. Oh, this smells really good. So this is a stimulating oil. It's, it's supposed to nourish and stimulate growth. It, I'm not going to read all of the ingredients, but just a few ones that I find interesting. So olive oil is the main ingredient. And usually, if you guys know anything about ingredients, usually the, the first ingredient listed is what it has the most of. Olive oil is extremely good for your hair. Now this olive oil is, is infused with aloe vera, marshmallow root, horsetail, don't know how to pronounce that, neem, rosemary, sage, lavender leaves, and sweet almond oil, wheat germ oil, and castor oil, and vitamin E. And then the one I can't pronounce is calendula. Calendula. Don't know what that is, never heard of that one, but all of the other ones I've definitely tried before. And of course it gives 
their story on the back and directions, massaging to scalp as needed, can be used daily and as a pre-poo treatment. Okay, the next thing I'm excited about is this leave-in conditioner and it's called Ease. And they're pretty nice sized bottles. Like usually everyone has eight ounce bottles, but this is a 12 ounce, I'm excited. And I do like that, so there, this is a 12, anyways, this is a 12 ounce leave-in conditioner and this is actually one of their bigger bottles, which is great because we usually use more leave-in conditioner. So I'm excited about that. Distilled water, slippery elm, orange peel, marshmallow root, horsetail, BTMS, some other things. This has a longer list, but I don't see anything that has like questionable ingredients. So that is good to know. And it comes with a little pump. Ooh, it's thick, child. Okay, come on, thickness. Ooh, it smells good. Ooh, this reminds me of something. Ooh, reminds me of when I was little, my older cousin used to have this body spray from Bath and Body Works. And when she would leave, I would um, like leave to go to school. Or when she wouldn't be home, I would like sneak in her room and spray it on myself. And I don't remember, was it Pearberry? <gasps> was it Pearberry? I don't know. But if it was, that's what it reminds me of. It smells amazing. Okay, secondly, this is the twirling hair gel. Hair. <laughs> this is the twirly hair gel. It conditions and defines. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys a pump so you can see how thick it is. Hold on, let me go back to this. Okay. Come on. Oh, there we go. Nice little strong neck there. Okay, so let's see. Okay, it's thick, but it's coming out. I hear it. I don't want to waste too much, so I'm trying not to. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it smells so bomb. Okay, so the consistency is kind of thin, which I'm okay with. I have low porosity hair personally, so I'm okay with thin products. And not that there's anything wrong if you have high porosity. It smells really good. And yes, I'm not wasting. Waste not, want not. We're going to put this in as lotion, child. Okay, next, we have the Twirly Hair Gel. I'm excited about this one. Apply on clean hair after using our easy leave-in conditioner. So they want you to do leave-in conditioner and then this. This is meant to define curls. Let's see, I don't know if it's watery or, oh, same smell, let's see. But it does have a little cap, let's not. I could see that mess, just no, we're not even gonna do that. Ooh, okay, oh. Okay, mm, that's not a good enough for the example, but y'all, I'm not wasting my products now. Okay, so this is, can you see it a little bit? I'm just gonna put this in the baby hair. I mean, you're wasting nothing. Um, yeah. Oh, I think this is their wash and go collection. Don't worry, I promise you guys, I will post it at the very bottom, like, I should have been prepared. Um, but same smell, some of the key ingredients. Aloe vera, whole leaf juice is its first ingredient. I'm actually really excited about this brand. And flaxseed oil is, is its next product or next ingredient. I'm excited about that. Honey quat, honey quate, never heard of that before. And also silver dihydrogen. I promise you guys, I graduated from school. <laughs> Okay, last but not least, we have the Aloe Curl, Silky Aloe Curl Pudding. This defines, moisturizes, and boosts shine. I forgot to mention, this one is eight ounces, the one I just talked about, and then this Silky is also eight ounces, and this comes in a twist jar. Hair styler that conditions and seals moisture while defining curls, provides texture boosts and shine with a soft hold, herbal infusion added to strengthen and protect the hair. So the directions on how to use this is to apply after using a moisturizer or leave-in conditioner to lock in the style. So it sounds like you can use either the twirly or the silky after you use the leave-in conditioner. Oh, ooh. Okay, so this, I didn't even read the ingredients yet, 
but it's looking it has almost like a shea butter texture like shea butter if you know it Ooh, okay it's kind of let me see if I can fix it so y'all can see what I see yeah okay right there see that it's like spongy okay when you rub it, it has it kind of reminds me of shea butter let's see if shea butter's in here it smells this one smells the best they all smell the same but this one smells the best oh my goodness I'm just gonna love this right here okay so this let's see ah! right this has sorry I'm so excited this has olive oil gel undefined shea butter olive oil hibiscus orange peel horsetail sea sea kelp okay aloe butter castor oil or aloe butter castor oil jojoba oil glycerin avocado oil vitamin E now one thing about glycerin I think it just depends on of course your hair your hair porosity but also where you live and like, is it dry where you live? Is it, anyways, the point is glycerin is supposed to like, it's a humectant, so a humectant. So it's supposed to draw water. So if your hair is flat iron, you might not want to use glycerin or anything with glycerin. So that's all that I have guys. Now I did also get their, they have a little mini travel kit for skincare. And so I purchased that as well, but that will have to be on another video. So I'm excited. I will go ahead and try their products possibly tonight. Oh, it's not too late. And I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a, I'm going to check right now because I'm pretty sure this is their wash and go line because my signature style is absolutely the wash and go. Don't get me wrong, I love me a twist out from time to time, but a wash and go, honey, when you work at six o'clock in the morning, that wash and go gives me life. Okay, so, and while I'm in here, I can tell you how much I paid for it. Okay, okay, confirm your subscription. Okay, nope, nope, that's not it. I'm just gonna, hold on y'all. Okay, so I ordered the Wash and Go Bundle, the Skincare Essentials Travel Kit, and separately the Silky Aloe Curl Pudding. So the Silky Aloe Curl Pudding did not come with the Wash and Go Bundle, but the Ease, the Twirly, and the Stimulating Oil, as well as the Shampoo Bar did go come with the Wash and Go Bundle. So again, this is the only thing the silky did not come with that original bundle so I did add that separately now how much coin did I spend I spent where is it are they trying to make me do the math how much did I spend child um here we go my total amount with shipping and everything and some for some reason I got a discount so I don't remember if it was the code when you first sign up or I don't remember how I got the discount but total is I spent $78.97 now keep in mind this also came with my skincare travel kit which I will show in a different video and the sizes are pretty pretty decent the shipping was $9.10. Now, somebody who's spoiled with Amazon Prime, I hate paying for shipping. But again, overall with tax included, now if we take everything out, it was $69.87 without shipping and all that jazz. So total again, $78.97. Also, one thing I wanted to mention, speaking of Amazon, this shirt that I absolutely love and it's all, it says kale, spinach, collard, and char. Kale, spinach, collard, and char. I love my greens, so I saw this on Amazon and you know your girl had to copy it, so I will also leave the link below.
that's all guys I don't know what else to tell you but I'm excited this was just my unboxing video and obviously I did unbox it already but I don't remember it coming in any specific box like anything super cute or special which is fine y'all know me I don't really care about the boxing um, the most the thing that I love the most is it had this tape on there I wish all companies would kind of tape up their products because you never know if the nail man gonna be throwing your boxes in the, the truck so that is all guys thank you so much for watching <sighs> I don't know why I'm out of breath I promise you I do work out but your girl's been out of breath all day today but make sure you guys follow me on Instagram hairvolutions I post on there daily child daily and YouTube I'm trying to get better I post at least once a week but please bear with me and what else I have a Twitter Hairvolutions IG. I mainly have my Twitter to tweet celebrities and companies if I have a question. <laughs> but I do put random thoughts on there from time to time, and I think I'm a little bit funny. So feel free to check me out on Twitter. For sure, Instagram, guys. I'm trying to get my Instagram popping. YouTube, I know it's gonna take some time, but my Instagram, I'm trying to get it popping. Okay, this video is long enough, 16 minutes. I'm gonna edit it. Thank you guys for watching.